Hi, this is Arkady Freckman, a New York City personal injury trial attorney. And today I'm talking about ride share accidents. How much insurance is there for an injured person in New York if you were injured in a ride share crash with an Uber or a Lyft vehicle? Well, it depends. And it really breaks down into three categories. Now, if the crash happened in New York City, meaning in the five boroughs, then actually there's an exclusion and you're limited to about usually about a hundred thousand in insurance because the taxi and limousine commission gets involved and those regulations uh, trump. And so the big policies that Uber usually has don't apply. But usually now, if it happened outside of New York City, like for example, the difference between the Bronx and Westchester or the difference between Queens and Nassau County. If it happened in Nassau County or in Westchester outside of New York City, then it could be up to one and a half million dollars. And the way they decide that is actually based on different phases. So phase one is if you're logged into the app, for example, and maybe you're waiting for a match, right? So that driver could be driving, but he hasn't been or she hasn't been assigned an actual fare yet, an actual passenger. So, uh, but they're logged into the app, that's phase one. And so for phase one, the primary coverage is 50,000. And then uh, that's for bodily injury. And then there's 30,000 for property damage. And the coverage has to be maintained by the driver or the transportation network company. That's what they call it, TNC, really means the owner of the vehicle. And so there's also an insurance requirement of excess coverage. That TNC, that transportation network company, has to have 200,000 in excess coverage. Now this is all phase one, right? So if you're, for example, logged into the app or you're looking for a driver or that driver uh, you know, is one of the potential drivers, he's logged into the app, he's looking for a passenger, but he hasn't yet been assigned an actual passenger. Now, phase two and three are a little bit different. And here's where the big insurance uh, comes into play. So phase two is when the Uber driver is on the way to a prearranged ride. And phase three is when the prearranged ride is actually happening, right? When the passenger is in the car and the driver is taking the passenger to their destination. So phase two or three, in this particular phase, what happens is the primary commercial coverage in most states across the United States of America is going to be $1 million. In New York, it's actually 1250000 so it's $1.25 million. And in New Jersey, it's $1.5 million. And this coverage is maintained by the driver, the transportation network company, they have to verify, uh, so the driver and the owner, or it could be a combination. And actually for this particular, um, for this particular uh, coverage, you could actually get the declaration sheet for the coverage online. It's available because Uber is an online company. And most courts have held that the ride share driver is not an employee, but Uber still has this insurance. So I hope that was helpful. That's just how it breaks down. So if you're just like logged into the app, right? It could be 50,000 with a 200,000 excess when you don't have a ride yet. When you actually have a ride, a prearranged ride, or when the driver's in route to pick you up, or when you're actually in the car and the driver is driving you, um, that's phase two or three, that is gonna be at least a million, right? In New York, it's 1.25, in New Jersey, 1.5, but in most states across America, it's 1 million. And unfortunately, in New York City, because of this TLC rule, that's actually an exclusion because it's a city of one million people or more. And then there's some kind of uh, issue. I'd have to dig deeper into why we have this exclusion, but it's actually going to be less. It's going to be only 100,000, the TLC limit. So unfortunately, the larger policy does not apply in New York City. Okay,